what's up guys welcome back to lion mark tv mark here with another exciting video yesterday peter obi was in kaduna and he met with the Arewa community and they discussed a lot a lot was shared he was there with even the vice incoming vice president of nigeria ahmed dati baba they were all there now something came up from the governor of kaduna malam nasiru erufai actually brought out this contradicted issue about how peter obi arrested him when he went to anambra state in 2013 for um, the anambra state election he was there as a representative of the apc now this is this this story is something that he first claimed that he was arrested by the dss but now he said it is peter obi this is the story this is what he said and after the video i'll play you a video of how peter obi in 2013 i went to anambra state as an official of the apc to witness the by-election for governorship. Your next guest, Peter Obi, was governor. He got me arrested and detained for 48 hours in my hotel room. Now I'm the governor of Kaduna State. And he is coming to Kaduna. In addition to the police and the SSS, I have one mechanized division Nigerian army here if I need to arrest and detain anyone. But we are northerners. We are civilized. We don't do things like that. I wish you all safe journey back to your destination and God bless you. All right. You all have heard all everything um, the governor of Kaduna State, Malam Nasir Erufai, had said, and um, we don't know what really transpired back then. And I think that only the two of them can actually, you know, sincerely tell what happened. But I like what he said. The governor said, uh, I don't think that it should be something that um, if this happened, then you wait for the person to come to your state and you want to retaliate with what he said anyway that's my own thought i don't know for you or any other person i would love to hear your thought in the comment section but before then listen to what peter obi said about that particular incident and how it was treated the police commissioner that was there then was from adam SS, what is the name again? From Adam Awa. The AIG. The AIG that provided us the election was not for our work. Simply not for our work. From the north, the DIG that came for that election was from Kani. Tell me. My farmers, I was in Africa. Government was PDP and FPC. Tell me how Africa person will issue order for someone to be detained. Even me was detained in my local government. And I was working for But however, all of us I committed is that when they asked me, I said, that's how they treat everybody that I will be in Canada on day of election. That was the only thing. And he took it up. There is no way. I am not a, I cannot do that. Go chairman. I never ask anybody to carry ID. As governor, of, as governor of Anambra State, I have the best ABC in Nigeria. The best for this man. My 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 ABC one man is for Kenya. It's the best for the man to today that I've ever met. It's on Kenya. Well, who will I give the order? Who come on a go and give order to himself? So how will I tell one man who lives in my house every day, I close to his family, I get up and tell one man, I want to live with your people. And he will say that. Call my head is that I'll give you his own number. It's the best for the man. You see the point now? It's the best now. And he will tell
Somebody say I didn't introduce you. I said, do, does he need introduction? <laughs> Nigeria is not breast of ideas. Nigeria is not breast of ideas or breast of manifestos. There's very good reading manifestos. There's very good reading ideas in Nigeria. If you go where they are packed, they'll be for them. What is lacking? Is the social, the institutional weakness that is not allowed to deliver them. And the political way. The government we intend to form, I and that team, would our team we do things differently. We want to bring a transformative government, purposeful government, that will start dealing with the issues. And those issues are known and very clear. The issue of security, which will be decisive. The issues of unity, which will be decisive. The issues of our economy, because it is critical. If you go today, out of the 10 poorest states in Nigeria, 10 is in the north. Out of the out of school children, it is in the north that they have the highest out of school children in the global earth. That's not anything. I'm telling you, all this is what the elites used to confuse us, to keep us where we are. No, there's no tribe that is enjoying anything today. The people in the north don't buy bread cheaper than people in the south. The poor people in the north are poor. The poor people in the south are poor. There's no amount of light in the north. There's nothing in the north that is lacking in the south. There's nothing in the south that is lacking in the north. All of them are suffering. There's no place anybody buys anything cheap because of religion. I'm a Christian. The Central Mosque in London, I lived my life in London. Went to the best schools there, from Oswald to Cambridge to... It's the, the Central Mosque in London was landed by the Queen. The Queen is not a Muslim. In Dubai, I'm a Christian, a Catholic. Catholic. If you go to Dubai, the Catholic Church in Dubai, the land and the church was built by any of Dubai. So let's go about the taking of the schools again. What do we want now is progress. What do we want now is to employ our youth. Next year's election must be based on character we can trust. What we are selling now is listening to all of us. All of us are going to have a well-written manifesto, a well-written document we read out, a well-written this. But what we are selling now is who among us will you trust? It is a trust issue. <laughs> Who among us will you trust? We want a character we can trust next year. Who is more competent? A legend next year must be on character we can trust. It must be incompetence. It must be incapacity and commitment to start doing the right thing for you. First day, we must stop this abuse of our country based on premodernism. I believe it was a very clear one out there and you could listen to what the governor um, said and also how the incoming president of Nigeria, Mr. Pitobi, replied to that particular incident and everything that happened. But to me, I think um, the, the governor bringing up that issue at this point when we know that we all are looking for a way of bettering the country, getting the country to do better 
with someone a leader who is competent enough and sh has showed a lot of credibility that he has all the ideas to rule or do you think it's his it's another way of him campaigning for apc and publicly showing that he does not support this cause of peter obi in the states anyway i would love to hear that thought in the comments section meanwhile this is a little challenge peter obi gave to all the presidential candidates watch the video don't forget to subscribe drop a comment I thank you for inviting me and I know you've invited other candidates as well and I wanted to give them opportunity of coming to be with you the way I was with you today. Listen to them. Let them not send delegates or representatives. <laughs> When people campaign here, as people in America yesterday, when Obama was talking, was he speaking through spokesperson? No. They said no. When Liz and everybody, all these people were campaigning, they come through spokespeople? No. So let everybody come physically. Yeah. 